Uh, we're on cap wire right now and we're about to put the electric motor in. I just want to show you a little bit about the alignment first. The shaft comes into the, the boat through the shaft log. Now it's out of a line. What that's going to mean is that it's out of a line on the cutlass bearing at the back of the boat. Okay, so, so we're going to install this in here. Then we put the coupling together and then twist it in to get her to close. And then four bolts on here. Okay, we got this door here. And it is four to tighten up. And there's a flexible coupling in between the two flanges and part of the flexible coupling it gives us an alignment where we can check our alignment on this red dot this red bolt here there's an alignment indicator and I'll show you that in a second make sure that the shaft is centered in the shaft log and knowing that we have our alignment basically right right now and then we hold on to the two clamps and position them where they're going to be easy to access later and then slide the bellows onto the shaft log. But also if you look down here the natural position of the bellows should be such that the shaft comes naturally out the center of it and it's not resting on one side or the other but it's coming straight through the middle of the shaft bellows. Then you tighten up your your clamps on both sides and then slide the this down and it contacts and then it goes down another three quarters of an inch for a, uh, um, a one inch shaft. And then it tightens up like that, tighten that down, and you're in business. And that provides the seal for your boat. Now, Now we're going to put the motor on the gearbox. We have to align the gearbox with the key. And there's a sleeve inside the gearbox. We have to make sure that that's aligned as well. And then it should just go right together. have it. Sea face flange which makes it really easy to take a motor on and off. It takes literally 15 seconds. This is for the temperature sensor so you can never overheat your motor. And it changes the way the motor acts on different temperatures as well like the way the programmer controls the motor is somewhat temperature sensitive. I'm going to mount that in there. So we're going to also check the alignment. Once the motor's in and bolted down, we want to come back and we take our feeler gauges and we set them inside here beside this red bolt on the flexible coupling and we check it at each like quadrant. Like so at 90 degrees we check it again and it's pretty it's about the same there. And, and at the bottom we check it again and then at 270 we check it again and if all those match we know that we have accurate alignment so we've noticed that uh, it's just slightly loose on the top here but it's about the same on the side and on the bottom there so that means that uh, the motor uh, needs to come up a little bit at this end of the motor at the motor end of the bracket take it back two or three <laughs> And then take this one back, two or three. And then lift the bottom nut underneath it up by turning it. And then 
tightening them up again. And then taking our alignment indicator tool and trying it again. And this time around we're seeing that it's it's tight there again. So we've actually probably gone up a little bit too far. So we'll just take it down and find the perfect place. One. And M1 becomes U over here, M2 becomes V, and M3 becomes W over here. So we just hook these three on. We look at how they're they're labeled here. We got U V W. V, and that one's going to be in the middle. And then there's a marking on the on the uh, casting itself. There's a U there and a W over there. We just line up the. So we're just going to put the nuts on here and then tighten them up. Zip tie it in. Just leave all your zip zip ties loose, and then position the wiring harness and then crank down on the zip ties tighten it up I don't know okay once you have the wiring harness in and in place then you'll tighten down the the bolts, the nuts that hold it onto, onto the motor and to the controller too 